grab some tinsel garland and some square wire wreath forms from your favorite dollar store or craft store for this easy and festive Christmas project. Place two of the square wreath forms on their side to create an upright L shape. Then, using small zip ties, connect one side of each frame to the other. Use two zip ties to create a solid connection for stability. Add that fourth wreath form with the zip ties so all four wire frames are connected to form a 3D square. Now that you've got one wreath form left, lay it on top to create a box. Cut off the ends of all the zip ties with some sharp scissors. And it's tinsel time. Take a tinsel garland and hot glue one end of the garland to a corner at the bottom of the wreath frame box. Carefully wind the garland around the bottom of the frame box and continue to wrap, working your way upwards. Periodically, use a little hot glue to anchor the garland to the box. A little goes a long way. You don't need to go crazy with the hot glue. When you come to the end of one garland, just start with another garland and continue the wrapping. Hot glue at the beginning of each garland to attach it to the frame. Next, take another garland and start to cover the top. Again, use hot glue to initially anchor the end of the garland to the edge of the top. Because you're covering the top of the box frame, you can just weave the garland in and out through the sides of the box frame. I ended up using just two garlands to cover the top of my box. Every wrapped present needs some ribbon and a bow, and this present needs a big bow. I broke it down into three steps. First, the side ribbon. Wrap a long length of wired ribbon around the box and twist underneath before bringing the tails up and over the sides of the box and knotting on top. Second, take another length of wired ribbon and slide through the previously knotted ribbon at the top of the present. Tie in a knot on top and curl the ribbon ends with your hand into a gentle wave for the tails of the bow. Last, make the actual big bow. Then attach the bow to the top of the box by connecting with the florist wire. And there you have it. This project looks great displayed under a Christmas tree or even on a dining table or kitchen island as a spectacular centerpiece. I hope this inspired you to make your own square wreath decorative Christmas present. Thanks for watching Home Talk and see you next time. I was in the dollar store the other day and I came across these waste paper baskets. They're actually meant to be basketball nets, but when I flipped them upside down, I realized they would make the perfect large Christmas bells. So I picked up two of those and then I also picked up two of these jingle bells and I'm going to head back home and we're going to make them over into fun Christmas bells. So to begin my project, I used some gold spray paint and I just spray painted both the baskets. I started with the baskets flipped over and did a really good generous coat on both baskets and let that fully dry. Once that was dry, I flipped the baskets back over and made sure to spray paint the inside as well and making sure that I got the full rim of the waste paper basket so that everything was nice and gold. And then I let these fully set and dry. After I was done this, I came in with my jingle bells and I'm going to go ahead and I want to make these look a little more antique. So I'm going to take them off the string and to do this, they just easily pull off here. They're just hooked on by a little ring. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put all the jingle bells into an old cardboard box. And then I'm going to take some black spray paint and I'm going to spray them. And while I'm spraying them, I'm also going to move them around. Don't worry too much about doing a perfect coat of spray paint because I want these to look vintage. So moving them around is actually attributing to the style. Once those dried, I'm going to go ahead and spray them with some white vinegar. And while the vinegar is still wet on the Jingle Bells, I'm going to come in with some gold spray paint. And then I'm going to just lightly spray paint over the vinegar and the black Jingle Bells. Again, moving them around in my box, beating them up in a way so that they look vintage. 
Next, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna take a half inch spade bit and I'm gonna drill down through the top of my waste paper basket just to make a hole. Then I'm gonna take the ribbon and the hoop that my Jingle Bells were originally attached to and I'm gonna remove this bow. I'm just cutting it off. It was glued in place and I couldn't get it off but I don't want that. And then I'm gonna take the ribbons and slide them down into the hole. So pulling them through and then I have this nice handle here for my bell. I'm gonna hot glue it in place and then I'm gonna come in with some just nice embellishment. I'm using some greenery here, so some picks, and I'm gonna stick a little pine cone in here. And then I'm also gonna make my own bow, a little bigger, fluffier bow, and I'm gonna attach that as well, just using hot glue to hold it in place. And then just another extra pine cone on the side. Then I'm gonna reattach my now vintage Jingle Bells back in the original place where they were. And this is my finished Christmas bells here. So I've hung them here on the outside of my cabin. I think they're so cute. And I love that these were so easy to do just with a few dollar store items. I hope this inspires you to get creative this Christmas season with things you find in the dollar store. Thanks for watching Home Talk and we'll see you on another video. Let's create some Christmas decor using ornament balls and pool noodles. Start by connecting the ends of the pool noodles using duct tape. Place the end of each pool noodle on the sides of a piece of duct tape that is about 12 inches long. Simply roll the noodles onto the tape and secure. Now, connect the other ends to create a complete circle with the pool noodles and duct tape those ends together. Now, sometimes pool noodles don't want to cooperate. If they don't want to twist or bend, just manipulate the pool noodles a little bit and they will become a little more pliable. Next, create a hanger. Cut a piece of rustic wire or wire that is covered with jute or other protective material that is about 25 inches long. Fold that in half. Slip this under the pool noodle so the loop is on one side. Bring the tails of the wire up and over the pool noodle and twist several times around the loop. This will create a secure hanger. Start gluing the ornament balls to the outer perimeter of the pool noodle circle with the top of the ornament facing down. So once it's glued to the side, you don't see that top tip from the front of the wreath. Now, here is a tip to consider. Don't put the glue directly on the pool noodle because the pool noodle will melt. Instead, put the glue on the ornament and let it cool for just a couple of seconds before attaching the ornament to the outside of the pool noodle. Once you place it on the pool noodle, hold it in place for a few seconds to let the glue cool and to make sure that it is secure. As you add ornaments and continue to around the circle, you're going to want to put a little bit of glue in between the ornaments. This just helps to secure the ornaments uh, even more so that nothing is going to fall off the wreath when it is finished. Have fun mixing and matching the colors of, of ornaments that you use. You just kind of place them in a design that, that works for you. Continue gluing around the entire pool noodle circle. Once the outside is done, start to glue ornaments to the inside of the circle. If you like, you can stop after you have glued one complete inside circle. Now, I want my wreath to be pretty hefty and full of ornaments, so I'm gluing an additional circle of ornaments. Just glue the one ornament to the other and hold in place until it is cooled. Once the outside and inside perimeter of the pool noodle circle is glued with ornaments, start to fill in the middle. This is when your wreath really starts to take shape. Once most of the pool noodle surface is covered, start to glue smaller sized ornaments to fill in the gaps. You can take it one step further and glue small picks of greenery or other Christmas picks to fill in the ga gaps. This just adds some more texture and interest to the ornament uh, wreath. And now you have a dramatic and breathtaking Christmas wreath. 
hang your wreath on a window outdoors as a spectacular Christmas wreath masterpiece. I hope you enjoyed this Christmas wreath project. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Missy with Sonata Home Design, and I'll see you next time 